Hi everyone, I just wanted to record a really quick video to show how to get the Nat Native Instruments Rig Control 3 for Guitar Rig Pro to work on Windows 10. A bunch of people have problems getting this working but the solution turns out to be quite simple. So, I just wanted to show you what I did to get it working. I've already got um, the Native Instruments software installed and this, by the way, this works on Mac OS as well. I've got the latest Mac OS, I can't remember the name of it, it's whatever, Mavericks or whatever the latest is in 2016 is what I've got on my MacBook Pro, which I normally use for live performance with Guitar Rig Pro 5. And my other machines are Windows 10. So, um, I did go to the Native Instruments website and install the old rig control 3 driver that whatever the latest version of the driver is is what you want to install that's the driver and that installs this rig, rig control 3 control panel but the controller editor the latest version of controller editor does not support the rig control if you actually go into the device selection you'll see rig control 3 none of the rig controls are actually available so this is not the version you want. This is the latest version as at um, um, the time of recording is August 2016 and this version is 1.11. That's not the version you want. So we're going to uninstall that from Windows 10. Controller editor. and We're going to uninstall that guy. And oddly enough, there's some conflict between the controller editor the software and the 3D connection 3D mouse drivers, which is why this is coming up. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but it causes the 3D mouse driver to crash as well, just during install and uninstall. I haven't noticed any other conflicts. Okay, so that's gone. Now I'm going to go to... Just bring up a new browser window here. I'm going to go to typing in the dark here. So that's all. okay, and we go support and downloads. And we go to drivers, service center, and other files. Scroll right down until we get to controller editor, and again, you do not want 1.11, even though it says for Windows 7 and above, and we're on Windows 10 or Mac OS X 10.9 and above. That, that version they took rig control 3 out of it. You want 1.7.4, that's the version. If you're on Mac, get this one, if you're on Windows, get this one. So I'm going to download it, save it. In my downloads folder, it doesn't take long. Show the folder there. I'll just um, open the archive in 7-zip and run the executable. Go ahead and install that. Now bear in mind I've already installed the latest available driver that was ever published for the Rig Control 3. But this is the controller editor and we, um, if you want to use the Rig Control as a MIDI device and have the expression pedal actually working, you need to have the controller editor installed for the next step. So I'm going ahead and agreeing to that license. Usage terms. Okay, that's done finally. Okay, so now that we have that, we go to our install of native instruments controller editor. So we have the older version, which works just fine in Windows 10 and Mac OS X. Oddly enough, there's something about the way this configuration files. So at first you, you'd think 
the rig control 3 is not available but if you go down here to complete you'll see that it is actually there so another way to do it is if you go to view and select device you get the full list and rig control 3 is in there so there we can see it now if I click on the foot pedal um, I'm not connected yet so I'm going to plug it in by USB and now I can connect it says connected and if I click on the continuous controller number seven which is the foot pedal I can rock it and move it back and forth and it does nothing if I click on any of the other buttons you'll see it actually selects those buttons ready for editing or assigning a different MIDI control to them but if I move the foot pedal nothing happens it's very frustrating it seems like it's broken it's not broken what you need to do is go to file preferences and this is bad user interface design what should have happened was you should be able to click here and have a button in here somewhere to say um, calibrate but what we have to do is go into preferences and go to controller and under rig control 3 pedals we need to say recalibrate and you would need to do this also if you had external expression pedals like the Roland EV5s I use could be plugged into the two jacks on the back of the controller if you had those you'd have to recalibrate them too so we click recalibrate and we follow the instructions here we push the pedal all the way down and all the way up or actually all the way up and then all the way down and then click OK and click OK again and guess what now if I click one of the other ones and I move the pedal look at that it responds to it and you can check up here in the MIDI in and out indicators if I move the pedal you can see it's actually sending MIDI data out now that's how you get it working now that we've done in, done that in the controller editor if I close that I can open Guitar Rig Pro and just open Guitar Rig now able to use the pedal. Let's move that onto screen here and you can see if I push the pedal forward it goes all the way forward if I pull it back you can see that by the, the indicator here in the software. Now you can do pedal recalibration in Guitar Rig Pro as well so if I switch back from live view to the main view and go to uh, preferences and if you can't see where preferences is you go options preferences and down here you can see rig control pedal calibration and if you click reset it gives you the same instructions press the rig control pedal all the way up which it is right now and then all the way down which it is now I've just moved it and click OK now when you move it now that calibration wasn't so good it doesn't go all the way up but yeah that's how you do it let me do that again let's go to reset all the way up and down and okay that's a bit better so now I can assign that to any one of these things just by drag and drop drag and drop on the volume there now I can use it as volume control and just on that note, uh, where is it? There's a, oh, okay, I can right click on this. In Windows, it's a right click down here. On Mac OS, for some reason, after you assign it, I right clicked on the actual dial that I'd assigned it to. But I, I right click, and this is where you can customize that particular controller to any of the other things. Um, or hold mode or whatever so yeah hope that is helpful and get some other people out of trouble with the recontrol 3